Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today we find out that the Steam Deck can play everything. An update on the GPU's bricking from a game, AMD's Ryzen 3D is even better than we thought, and AMD's RX 7000 GPUs are absolutely incredible. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, Valve's new portable gaming PC, the Steam Deck, has made some pretty big waves across the internet. According to Ars Technica, Valve sold over 110,000 units of just the two higher-end SKUs already. With all of that said, one concern some people had was in regards to how powerful it is. The Steam Deck comes with up to 8 RDNA 2 CUs for the GPU. For reference, AMD's RX 6900 XT has 80 CUs. Like I said in my video where I discussed it, the one good thing is the lower resolution, because with such a small screen, there's simply no reason to go much higher. Well, in an interview with IGN, Valve stated that it can play every game in the Steam library within their performance targets. That is, at 30 FPS using the system's native resolution. Basically, every game should, at the very least, be playable. Of course, you likely won't want to play a competitive shooter at that frame rate, but a portable console-like device isn't really the best for that anyway. At the end of the day, I really think this is good news, because it can reassure gamers that whatever they download is at least going to be playable. Of course, things can quickly change as new games come out. Time, as always, will tell. But first, if you'd like to get random compliments when you go to purchase something, you need this wallet with today's sponsor, Exter. And I'm not kidding, I've only been using mine for about a week and I've already gotten multiple compliments when I went to purchase something. I mean, how cool is this? Instant access to all of your cards with a press of a button. And it's pretty fun. And that's not all it does. Extra wallets keep your money safe with RFID protection, along with a gorgeous slim design and a money clip. Plus, they've got a ton of different wallets to fit your style. Not only that, but Extra sells this really sweet wallet tracker that's not only solar powered with a three hour charge that lasts two months, but you can take a selfie with it. So what are you waiting for? Exter is offering 20% off your order when you click the link in the description below. Next up, if you saw my last video, you know that a new game from Amazon that's currently in beta called New World seems to be breaking some RTX 3090s. I'm talking people just playing the game and they basically get fried. The main culprit seems to be EVGA cards, though other cards seem to be affected as well. Jay's Two Cents also claims in a tweet that other GPU owners have seen these issues, just not as much. Well, we now have multiple updates, starting with a new video from Jay's Two Cents. In it, he was able to speak with EVGA, and according to them, they've already shipped out new GPUs, meaning EVGA decided to immediately send new cards out to anyone who requested an RMA because of this game. That's obviously great news. Next, New World actually tweeted a response to the issue. In it, they claim that it's not a widespread issue, though of course there aren't that many gamers who even own 3090s, so it obviously wouldn't be. They also claim that the calls are typical DirectX calls, so we don't know why it's happening. Either way, they're planning to patch the game to cap the frame rate and the menus to 60. As I mentioned in my last video, one fix was to lower the FPS, but I was still a bit worried because the menus still weren't capped. So something could happen before you change the settings. Either way, J2Sense did test it out, and he wasn't able to get it to happen without changing the card's BIOS, but that doesn't mean it won't. New World has apparently already patched the menu, so they may have done something in the game as well, since some users were having issues while actually playing, not just in the menu. Either way, it looks like it may have been resolved, but I'd still be a bit cautious and possibly cap your FPS before playing. Next up for today, we have a huge story on AMD's upcoming Ryzen 3D CPUs. In a new tweet from known leaker Graymon55, he claims that packaging plants have begun preparing materials for Zen 3D production, and that he expects them to release this year. Not only that, but he also claims that AMD's average 15% increase in gaming performance is more on the conservative side. And finally, in a reply to a tweet from video cards on the recent 12,900K leak, Graymon55 claimed that Zen 3D won't be behind it. Basically, while Intel's upcoming CPUs are looking to be extremely impressive, Zen 3D could still take the crown. 
And lastly for today, we have specs and release timing on AMD's next-gen GPUs. For those who haven't been following the channel, so far we've heard from multiple sources that AMD's RX 7000 GPUs are set to be the first ever consumer multi-chip module cards, at least the highest end Navi 31 and Navi 32. And that would make the RX 7000 one of the biggest GPU launches in nearly a decade. Think of it like Crossfire or SLI, but Windows looks at it as one GPU. First up, we have a tweet from the infamous leaker Kitty Yuko, formerly known as Kitty Corgi. In the tweet, he states that he's sure Navi 31 will be 6x10, which implies we're looking at 60 WGPs or CUs per cluster for a total of 120. Now, we originally thought Navi 31 would come with 160 CUs, so this is quite a bit different. With that said, when we move down, you can see that resident leaker Copite7Kimmy replied to a comment claiming Navi 31 would come with 15,360 cores, which would mean each CU now comes with double the cores. Basically, while the 7900 XT could have less WGPs than we originally thought, it would actually have three times the cores of the 6900 XT. And both 3DCenter.org and Lefrit David seem to think the same thing. Not only that, but Graymon55 suggests that Navi 31 comes with either 120 CUs, like Kitty Yuko suggests, to as high as 180 CUs. Moving back to Kitty Yuko's tweet, we can see that he claims Navi 33 is being taped out in the fourth quarter of this year. And moving down, he also claims that Navi 31's tape out is coming soon, with Navi 32 in Q1 of next year. Basically, AMD's upcoming RX 7000 GPUs are looking more and more powerful. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's next-gen GPUs or are you more excited for Zen 3D? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!